I know you wrote an article about Miles Garrett. So kind of moved past Defensive Player of the Year, the award he won last year. Um, right now he's got his eyes uh, on, you know, the, the big prize, if you will. Take us through that article. Yeah, it was, to me it was, well, it was newsworthy because this is his first time as DPOI, right? So how's he dealing with it? It's the first time we talked to him. How's he process it, process it? And he's not focused on it, right? It's not, hey, I need to repeat. It's not, oh, my gosh, I got to celebrate myself. Now, I'm sure there's moments of that, and I'm sure he appreciates the award. But for him, it is bigger goals. It's team goals. And, you know, I, I think Miles has really matured since he's been here. And he got here young, right? He was a junior guy, junior coming out of AM, young guy. And I've seen him mature. And whether it's just a PR thing or not, and I don't think it is, I think it's genuine, it's less about himself, right? He came in talking Hall of Fame, talking Defensive Player of the Year, and that conversation is really quieted. Now he has to be asked about Defensive Player of the Year. He doesn't bring it up. He's not obsessed with sack totals. And it's about Super Bowl. It's about winning championships for Cleveland. He's made this connection with Cleveland. And I believe him when he talks like that. And it's not the first time, right? Like, I remember a conversation with him a few years ago. I had one-on-one -on -one before the season, and he was talking about Giannis winning that championship with the Bucs. And we know Miles is a big basketball fan. And he said, that's what I want to do here, right? So this is not new. He's had this desire to bring a Super Bowl to this town for a while now, and he feels like his career wouldn't be complete unless he gets at least one Super Bowl, you know, obviously, hopefully more.